Former First Lady Melania Trump weighing in on the assassination attempt on her husband, demanding answers about why the suspected shooter wasn't apprehended before firing eight shots at her husband. The attempt to end my husband's life was a horrible, distressing experience. Now, the silence around it feels heavy. I can't help but wonder, why didn't law enforcement officials arrest the shooter before the speech? There is definitely more to this story, and we need to uncover the truth. Let's bring in Andy McCarthy, Fox News contributor. Andy, welcome to you. Um, interesting Hi, uh, video that we've all had a chance to see by now. What did you think of it and her thoughts in it? Well, I, I think her thoughts are completely understandable. Uh, and I think perhaps the campaign would like to roll out somebody who has, you know, who, who's very popular in the country and has kind of a, a reputation for being above it all in terms of, uh, you know, the rough and tumble of politics. Maybe she can uh, reach people who might be unreachable by uh, former President Trump or other people uh, in the associated with the campaign. And, and look, there are a lot of questions about the security failures here, which seem to have been catastrophic from soup to nuts. So I think all people who are, you know, of, of uh, well-meaning people uh, would like to get answers about what happened. So it's fair that um, she's putting that out there, um, to say the least. Legally, there's still a lot of questions. And obviously, strategically, for the Secret Service to be able to secure a former president um, in a better way are all reasonable questions that people still have, Andy. Yeah. And I think, Sandra, the undertone here also is that, you know, Melania Trump and the Trump family are also protected by the Secret Service. It's supposed to be. So it's not just that, uh, you know, if the former president is under a threat, it's not just him, it's his family. Uh, finally, I want to ask you about the Koberger trial, um, the killings out of I right. Idaho. The, the judge has granted Brian Koberger a motion to move his quadruple murder trial um, out of the county um, in Idaho where this happened, where the murders happened in the college town of Moscow. Uh, the judge order was unsealed yesterday. Um, what, what do you make of this move? Obviously, the family, this is upsetting them. They're calling it incredibly disappointing, the judge's ruling, granting the change of venue. The only good about this decision, they say, will yeah. be the judge's last decision in this case. The family's always felt that the judge favored the defense, which is just crazy for anybody seeing this, uh, Andy. And it was a common theme that whatever the defense wanted or needed, they got. That's an incredible response from the family. Yeah, I, and you can understand how emotionally invested they are in this, obviously. On the other hand, you know, to try to be fair to the judge, we're talking about a quadruple homicide, which is a death penalty case. And we're, the Lata County is a county of, you know, about 41,000 people, where it's not crazy to think that, you know, it's such a small place that almost everybody or at least many, many people will have some connection to someone who's associated with the trial. And it's just a fact that um, appellate courts don't like the death penalty and look for reasons to reverse it if a jury votes for it. And one of the reasons could be that they're worried about prejudicial publicity. So in the long run, this could be a good ruling in terms of getting the result that the prosecutors are asking for. But it's very frustrating for the family members, obviously. And as someone who's tried a lot of cases that, uh, you know, some of which were high profile cases, I always think, Sandra, the important thing is to get jurors, uh, not who are ignorant of the facts or have been insulated from press coverage, but who can convince the court that they can be fair and objective in evaluating the evidence they hear in the courtroom. Yeah. Uh, it's got to be so difficult for those families to keep going through all this. Andy McCarthy yep. on that for us. Thank you very much, Andy. Thanks, Sandra. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.